One of the things that you should do when building a SaaS product, especially using Next.js, is you should have a clean onboarding flow. Now for my SaaS, for my AI SaaS, rankboost.ai, when you sign up on our platform and you're first using it, when you get on the main dashboard, you are greeted with this tooltip. And it's a two-step process. It'll tell you first to go to settings, and there's a little description here that tells you to set up a rank to set up rank boost AI and generate some quality articles. You'll need to set up an API key over the settings page. So we prompt you to go to the settings page. You can now click done. And then step two tells you to enter open router API keys, obtain an API key from open router and fund your open router account with $5. Then add your API key to your settings page and rank boost AI for detailed instructions. Visit the quick start guide by clicking on docs in the top right corner. This should actually say docs instead of learn, or this should say learn either way. I'll fix that, but you get the gist. Now, if I click on this button here, it's going to open a new tab, open router. I click my account. I fund it. I get, uh, my API key, I paste it here, I submit, and then I click done. Simple and easy onboarding. All right, the reason being is you, we assume as developers that our users just going to understand where to go, but you can't make that assumption because you understand where to go because you built the product. That's why I am using Freegate, which is a very simple uh, toolkit to use to set up clean onboarding flows. And it's very easy to start and to get set up. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video, right? So in their docs, you start off with installing Freegate at React, at React, sorry, at Freegate slash React. And then you're going to import it. You're going to make sure, obviously, get an API key. You can get you can get this here by going to developer. I don't want to click there because you'll see my API key. And then you have to wrap your entire app with the Freegate provider. So if I show if I go over my VS code, you can see in my main layout, my master layout, I have wrapped my app with the Freegate provider, which is pretty simple. But this is the cool part. Freegate allows you to pass in a user ID. So I'm using Clerk uh, for authentication. So basically what I do is I use one of uh, Clerk's functions, uh, auth, to get the user ID and I pass the user ID into the Freegate provider. This allows me to track which users have started the onboarding process and what step they're in. Right. So it's as easy as that to get set up. Now, what I'll have to do is I'll have to create uh, a flow. And the best way to do this is to go on the app itself, go to flows, and then you can cl click create a flow, create flow. And there's different type of flows. I'm just going to use tour because it seems to be the most cleanest one, in my opinion. And you have uh, a dashboard here where it shows you basically what it will look like. Config is where you would configure every single step for your onboarding flow. So you have an ID, the title, subtitle, the primary button, the title on the button and the selector. Now, everything is pretty self-explanatory. So if I change this to subscribe to the channel ASAP and I save this, that that shows on the tooltip. And if I say do it now, so if I change the title on the primary button again, you see a change. And if I click on it, it takes me to the second step. So I can you can create as many of these as you want. But here's the here's the cool part. The selector is where you get to select or choose where you want this tooltip to show. So in this first case, you saw that it highlighted settings and then it highlighted this button. So essentially what I did was I had a selector on the components I wanted the tooltip to show on, right? And it's literally that simple. I'll show you in my VS code. So if I take you to dashboard and then layout. So first and foremost, to make sure you have the flow set up or for the flow to work, you have to click on usage and then you have to copy this component. So all you literally do is you copy this import, right? I did it right here, just paste. And then you copy this component and did it right here. So I won't do it again. So once you've done that, all you have to do now is you have to choose where you want these uh, tooltips to show. And for me, I did it on the settings page. So you can see here on the settings tab. So you can see I have this link tag, right? That has all this styling and I have ID onboarding. And if I show you the actual flow I'm using right now, that was just an example flow I created. The selector I have is hashtag onboarding. Step two is hashtag onboarding dash two. So 
If we go to VS Code, I have ID onboarding. And then if we go to the settings page, what you, or right here, ID onboarding dash two. And this is why it showed up uh, on those specific uh, components. Now, here's the cool part. Because I'm passing in the user ID, you can see, I can see what step each person is on if they've started the onboarding process. Like for example, this was me right here and I did it four minutes ago. I've completed, completed it two of two, right? So I get all these analytics. I can track. I can also like build an audience and target specifically which type of people should see the onboarding flow, which is fantastic. Right. And another thing that Freegate does automatically is once someone's done the onboarding flow, because I'm tracking their user ID, they're not going to do it again. But what they also allow you to do on their docs, I can show you here. If you go to API is you can set up web hooks. Uh, one thing you can do is you can, you know, track these in your DB and then do whatever you want with the information. They have all these events like started the flow, skip the flow, completed the flow etc etc right and if you read the documentation they basically show you how to verify that they're the ones sending you the data and how you can extract the data so freegate is one of those tools that i'm going to be using extensively especially when it comes to building onboarding flows because it's very important to make it easy for users to use your application and they have different components they have you know announcements um they have the checklist which is also uh, one I really like. I was going to use the checklist, but I, I just stuck with Tor for now. Um, yeah, Tor is the one I'm using. They have forms, cards. So a very, um, like, not very known toolkit, but very great, exciting, and useful. So I'll link it down in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Again, if you're building any sort of production application, you definitely need to have a clean onboarding flow. But I hope this video helps. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Truly appreciate you guys for all your support, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.